Hi guys. Um just dropping in to say hi and see how everybody's doing and just um I kinda honestly I'm just sitting here in front of the bank waiting on the bank to open. Um and it kinda just came upon me to make a video. So me and my daughter's dad have been having some issues for a while now. This is not something that just started. Um I'm trying to be cordial about everything and be peaceful with him. Um, I have not put him on child support or anything like that. Um, my daughter has everything that she needs. Um, all I've asked of him the entire time is to just be a good father to our daughter. And this by no means is a video to bash her father. I want you guys to understand that. I'm gonna say that first and foremost. Um, it's more so a video to say get to know a person before you lay down with them ensure that you know that they're going to be there to support you and i don't just mean on a financial aspect i mean on a mental aspect on an emotional aspect on a spiritual aspect um know your own worth so that you won't be tolerating or i'm sorry i said that wrong so that you won't be tolerant of negligence if that makes sense <laughs> i know all of that just rhymed and that was not on purpose i swear to you um you have to be aware of who you are and where you stand and what your boundaries are my, my lips are so dry um to be able to say okay this is what i'm okay with this is what i'm not okay with it is all a learning process but if you don't know yourself you will spend years spinning your wheels and turning your wheels with someone um and not make any progress so, and at the end of the day, you can't really blame anybody but yourself, you know, for not realizing it sooner, for not taking control of your life. Because at the end of the day, even if y'all are in a relationship, you're still, your life is still your own. I don't know what happened with this lip gloss. It's just oozing all over the place. But I'm, I'm sick of looking at these dry lips. Sorry about that. But yeah, at the end of the day, your life is still your life. So unless you anticipate building a life with that person and you can see yourself having a life with that person and not just having a life with that person, but having a healthy relationship with that person, make sure that you've healed from all of your previous traumas and and um make sure that they have done the same and made peace with who they are you know and what they've been through because what will happen is you guys will both drag those issues into your relationship and it will create problems in your current relationship and put a wedge between y'all so um i guess i'm just on here just to kind of give y'all a little bit of of insight you know something to think about if you don't have children with somebody already and you're thinking about having children with someone or if you're not in a relationship and you're single and you're thinking about having kids choose wisely choose wisely and i say that because you're going to have to be able to deal with this person for the rest of your life you're going to have to be able to coincide and co-parent or you know have any type of parenting with this person for the rest of your life being a parent is not a part-time job being a parent is a 24 7 job so you have to make sure that whoever you're going into this journey with is a person that's willing to put in that even if they don't put in nothing but the 23 
23 and 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that that person is willing to put that time and that effort into you and your child as well. And even if they don't put it into you, make sure that that person is willing to put it into their child. Because there's a bunch of people out there that ain't, it's a lot of dads, it's a lot of moms out there that they can't be as hands-on as they want to be. I'm one of them. But when they hit the door and they see that baby, it's all about that baby. I love my daughter. I would not trade her for anything in this world. I would not. I love my baby. She wears me out, but I feel guilt sometimes because I'm so busy working, trying to provide for her that I can't give her the time and attention that she needs. So when I do come home, it's all about my baby. Before my head hits the pillow, before I hop in the shower, before I, I wash my face, before, before any of those things, I'm a mother first. So off top, she gets 150% of me when I walk in the door because that's my baby and she didn't ask to be here she didn't ask to be placed in this situation but she's here and I made that decision you know to continue giving her the opportunity to live once I made that decision to say hey I'm not going to give my baby up I'm not going to abort my baby I am going to keep my child and I'm going to give my child a chance once I made that decision, I made a decision to commit to that responsibility. So be sure, if you're going to do this, be sure that you're ready for this. It is unpredictable. It is a everlasting learning process. You're never going to have all of the answers. You're never going to have any answers, really. It is a trial and error thing. There is no manual. There is no fucking coaching. There is nothing that can prepare you for parenthood. Or adulthood for that matter. You just got to take it for what it is. Roll with it and make the best out of it. Kings and queens, I love y'all. I hope that this message reaches, reaches its destination. I'm not sure who I'm talking to. But... I love you. Be blessed. I pray peace on you all. I speak peace into your life. Um, and I hope that you all are having a wonderful new year. And I will catch you in the next video.